Thursday, we are having an impartation service. It's not going to be easy. Impartations. And then Friday, we've started setting up for our just worship. It will be six hours of non-stop worship. Say amen. We thank God for what he has already done. Hallelujah. Yesterday we were blessed greatly by the man of God. Say amen. Charlie the sword, no. Some of you know, we know yes, a sword appeared here yesterday. <laughs> the, the sword has two edges. Scatting here is blessing here. I love my enemy's path though. <laughs> Say amen. We were blessed yesterday. Prophetic direction. Prophetic declaration. Say amen. I was telling Mauli that yesterday you were like graphic. You read it like newspaper. <laughs> Say amen. Well, uh, the man of God is ready. To, to minister to us. We are happy to have him. I also have my pastor from Cape Coast uh, here all the way. Recently he had a baby. He went to the labor hall to have a baby. <laughs> Say amen. It's one of my favorite sons. He's planting churches all over the, what region is the central region? Uh, Central Ridge planting church man Kesim Windy Ba uh, a lot of places. Some of his one of his pastors are in the school. Say amen. We thank God for you for for being a faithful son. Say amen. Those who are not sons, you no, know, there there are some sorts that can take care of them. I shouldn't go that way. <laughs> People are pleading power for him. You should do the right thing. You should come here and kneel down. <laughs> and hand over the church. Hashtag bring back our church. Hashtag what? Bring back our church. <laughs> Look, we put charismatic evangelistic ministry and the guy climbed the ladder and removed our church and he put crossover evangelistic ministry. It's a criminal act. And a sword shall appear in that place. Hashtag bring back our church. Or the sword. <laughs> There's a positive side of the sword. It is the negative side. Let me not get into it again. Otherwise, I'll preach another sermon. So, uh, without any further ado, rising on your feet, give me honor to honor Israel. Let's welcome <laughs> Prophet Enoch Jenkins with his wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Squeeze the hands of your neighbor gently and say, neighbor, we are fighting and winning at the same time. So the advantage you have is that the outcome of this battle was determined before it began. David asked the Lord, Lord, shall I pursue these enemies? And will you deliver them into my hands? And the Lord said, pursue. Overtake. And without fail, recover all. So by the time David began the battle, he knew the outcome. I declare tonight, before the year ends, the outcome of the battle has already
already been decided before the year began I see God give you victory before you started I said you have victory over this challenge you have victory over your battles you have victory over this demonic personality look at somebody say my victory is guaranteed and shout a bigger amen thank you Jesus let's worship for two minutes three minutes and and let's go into the word today. I want to speak to you for about 30 minutes and then we can to live God. May call out of our sons. You are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift my voice. Why I sing to you. Master, 
is there anything? If you open the blind eyes, is there anything? Speak to the devil and tell him, is there anything? Too hard for my God. Tonight I declare any impossible situation is receiving solution in the name of Jesus. I thought you would shout a big amen like a voice is of the Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and take your seat for a moment. Take your seat for a moment. I need you to stay awake with me. We've been praying, but I want to crave your indulgence for about 30 minutes. And I want to speak on a caption. You will find it. Look at somebody say, you will find it. When you are looking for something and you find it, Make sure you don't go about searching for it again. And remind me to end on this note. That when you find it, be content with what you get. Hallelujah. So let's turn our scriptures to the book of Luke chapter 15, verse the number 8 and 9. Uh, I'll be grateful if we can read it together. Let's read it together now. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, does not light a candle and sweeps the house. Look at someone says she sweeps the house. Home, and seeks it diligently till she finds it. The verse 9. And when she has found it, she called her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Who? Look at somebody say, At long last. Let the reading of the word transform me, the preacher, and let it transform you too. Amen. I don't know why anytime money is mentioned, it becomes synonymous to woman. Women love money. They love it a whole bit. The wise ones may not show it, but they find a way of getting it anyway. So you know how women are very meticulous in preserving every dime at home. No matter how wealthy a woman is, a woman is able to manage money more than a man. Because the man takes risks. He believes that he can spend it today and tomorrow he will get it. But a woman don't take much risks because they need security to live. Security is pleasure to a woman. The reason why she has not said yes to you is because you don't present a comprehensive insurance. But I have 29 more minutes to do this, so let's do it. So now, the Bible, any time the Bible talks about a woman, it becomes, or it be, it's a correspondence of the church. So a woman is a correspondence of the church. So this woman here is not just talking about that species God created specially from the rib of a man. With breasts and everything that comes with it. It's talking. 
talking about the church. So now, either what woman, what kind of woman will have 10 pieces of silver? Now, the 10 there is a higher octave of the number one, which corresponds to some level of per, per, in completeness without necessarily being the totality. Okay? So we have the 10 commandments, but it is not written in the Bible that that shall not smoke. Neither is it written in the Bible that that shall not masturbate. But that does not also mean that the commandment is only 10. It's a totality of anything that is good and true. So then, the 10 piece here is talking about a church, a woman that was made and fashioned in a complete manner. So she was complete. Maybe what makes her complete is her patience. What makes the church complete is a prayer life. What makes her complete is her ability to say no to a man. What makes her complete is contentment. The Bible says godliness with contentment is great gain. Maybe what made her complete was her ability to deal with insecurity properly. Maybe what made her complete was the fact that she could cook real good. Maybe what made her complete is that even though she's upset with God, she still prays God. Am I speaking to somebody? Now, this woman was complete. He, she belonged to the community or the class of people that owned 10 pieces of silver. She slept one day only to realize that the 10 piece had become 9 piece. And this woman was not a typical Ghanaian church. When she realized that one piece was gone, she did not pretend to have ten pieces. There are a lot of people that were complete and powerful. They were complete in their ways. They were perfect in their ways, spiritual and righteous, and they don't pretend about it. But somewhere, somehow, something happened and they lost it, and they keep pretending to have it. You are not a prophet, but you are pretending to be one. You are not a teacher, you are forcing yourself to be. You are not a good wife material, yet you have carried a ring, and you are wearing a ring like you are married. You are not working, yet you are telling everybody you own a bank. I'm talking about somebody who is living a lie. And you see, hypocrisy is lies acted. I declare in the name of Jesus tonight, let the spirit of hypocrisy be uprooted out of our lives. In the name of Jesus, shout uproot. This woman said, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that all is well with me. I'm not going to be comfortable and, and just assume that if one is missing, then I'm fine with the nine. She said, I've got to do something about it. Somebody is just careless about certain stuff. You lost one thing, but before you realize that one thing, another thing is missing, and another thing is missing, because the devil will not stop at one. He will come and rob you of anything good. But I declare tonight, anything the enemy has taken from your life, from your spirit, that you sound unconcerned. I declare in the name of Jesus, that tonight we are going on an expedition. Whatsoever you took, whatsoever was lost, we're going to search for it till we find it. Shout yes! She started looking for it. So put the scripture back again. The Bible said she lit a candle. She needed a light. Why? Because she lost it in darkness. And darkness from the Greek word chosen, which means evil and falsity, or misery, pain, disappointment, or heartbreak. Somebody has lost herself because a man broke her heart. Somebody has gone haywire because a woman broke her heart. So she's no more smoking but she's now advanced from smoking to drugs. I declare in the name of Jesus, anything in darkness that is causing you to lose your virtue, to lose your honor, to lose your dignity, in the name of Jesus, I command your arrest and declare your divine liberation. In the name of Jesus, shout yes. She lost it. Lost it. Lost her prayer life. Lost
lost her fasting life, lost her sincerity, lost her justness. You have become biased all of a sudden. All of a sudden, you don't like the fair color anymore. It is the dark you want. It's all of a sudden, you don't like the slim anymore. It is the fat you want. A confused person cannot receive anything from God. This woman switched on a light. Which means that he needed information. Something is missing in your life. And you need knowledge to find. If you are married to a witch. It is very difficult for you to make heaven. If you are married to a wizard. It is very impossible. Virtually to make heaven. You know why? Because marriage is a platform for regeneration. Marriage is the only institution apart from the church. That can guarantee you heaven. And let me say this. You can quote me anywhere. Anything you need to go to heaven. That is preached in church. Is tested in marriage. So you know what? If I'm home. And I'm faithful to my wife. And she's all I know. And I give her patience. Gentleness. Self-control. I tell you what. Even if I don't step in here. I can make heaven. So because the devil knows that. He makes sure you marry some shaggy. You need light. Information is coming. Any knowledge you need to find what is missing in your life or look at that business. You don't even have advertisement. You don't invest in advertisement. It's like working in the dark. You need light, light, light. And this is the light. Jesus is the light. And it's the light that shines in the world. Tonight I see a light coming into your life. A light is coming. And it's coming to chase away the darkness. Unforgiveness is darkness. Hatred itself is darkness. Envy is darkness. Comparison and competition. Ungodly competition. It is darkness, but I declare in the name of Jesus, the Bible said, and the light soon in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Tonight I declare, light and darkness are not classmates. We exercise divine supremacy over darkness. Let the light of God shine in you. Look at somebody and say, the light will shine. Maybe the light you need it's for you to be humble a little. Maybe the light you need is the ability to look for a mouthwash. Maybe the light you need is for you to look for a roll-on. I lost a shout in the building now. Maybe the light you need it's not somebody who is good in bed, but good in the head and in the heart. I, I, I just said something very powerful. I just said something powerful. I'm saying it's not somebody who knows how to break her waist, but it's somebody who knows how to break her heart and submit to God. I lost a shout in the building. Scream! She looks for the light. And the light was not enough. She has learned a lot of things. Done a lot of things. And she still can't find it. You have read books. And you still can't get the marriage right. You have read books. And you still can't get your life right. You have read all kinds of things. Listened to all kinds of messages. And your life is still the same. Look at the next thing she did. And the Bible said what? She swept the house. Tonight, I pick my broom and I come into your home. I go into my house. Any witch in your house that is comfortable, we sweep them out. Any laziness in your life, I sweep it out. Any envy in your life, I sweep it out. Pick your broom now. Sweep it out. Sweep the insecurity. Sweep the shame. Sweep the insecurity. Sweep the inferiority complex. Come on, look at somebody say, I'm sweeping. 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 Shout like your voice is yours and press. Scream. We sweep the tough. 
We sweep the bad luck. We sweep it. We sweep the indecisiveness. Sweep her. We sweep her. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, somebody must sweep the pornographic sight from your phone. Somebody must sweep the sex toys out of your closet. I lost a shot in the building. I lost a shot in the building. All the numbers of the cocaine dealers, it's time to sweep it. All the numbers of your secret girlfriends, the older ones, the younger ones, and the children, all the numbers we sweep up. I think. Hey! Shout like your voice is yours and praise the name of a living God. Sweep it now. Sweep it out of your life. Sweep sickness. We sweep shame. We sweep trouble. We sweep debtedness. In the name of Jesus. Scream! Shout like your voice is yours and praise him. Scare the devil with your shout. Sweep the shame away. Look at someone say, say neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. I have a broom. And I sweep diabetes out of our lives. I sweep arthritis out of our lives. I sweep shame out of our lives. I sweep embarrassment out of our lives. I sweep spirit of death out of our lives. Say sweep, sweep, sweep in the name of Jesus. Scream. The Lord is sweeping. And some of you, the broom will take that sugar daddy out of your life. Amen. You may starve for a while, but weeping endures for a night. But joy! Yeah. Joy! Yeah. Even though it hurts, yeah. it's not going to hurt always. Say, so sweep it out! Sweep it out! Sweep it out! Sweep it out! In the name of Jesus! Jesus! Touch two people and say, sweep it out! Say, sweep it out! Don't be afraid of him. Just sweep it out. Sweep it out. Out of our lives. Out of our lives. Out of our spirit. Out of our spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, sweep it out. Sweep it out. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The toplessness is swept out of your life. Is coming out of your life. Yeah. Sickness is coming out of your life. Out. Diseases are coming out of your life. Out. Disappointments have been swept out. out. Promise and fail swept out. out. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Poverty. Out. Sweep it. 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 Scream! Shout like your voice is yours. Praise the name of the living God. Scare the devil and say, Sweep, oh Lord, sweep. Sweep it. Sweep it. Some of you, it is the fear of the unknown and fear of the known. You are trepidated anytime you think about your past. But in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I pick the broom. Jesus. I don't care the mistakes you have done. Jesus. I don't care the evidence they have. Jesus. I sweep. I I in the name of Jesus. Any government in Africa that is bad news to Africa, we any ministry that is a shame. And bad news to this nation. We any gift that is a torture, that is a modern day arm robbery gun in the name of Jesus. We say sweeping. 
In the name of deliverance, some people have become gynecologists. I don't know when deliverance and, psych uh, and gynecology became one. Hey. So in the name of deliverance, you have stripped somebody's wife's clothing. You are touching her breast and touching a private part. But I pick my broom right now. Hey. I sweep this insanity hey. out hey. of the chair. Hey. Scream! Hey. Shout like your voice is yours and press it. Clothing that has been close to you and gives your information to your enemies tonight. Tonight, I sweep them out of your life. I sweep them out of your life in the name of Jesus. Say, We sweep it out now. Now, 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 clap your hands and begin to sweep it out. Sweep it out. Satisfy them, but in the name of Jesus, Jesus. every spirit of insatiability, I command you to be swept out Jesus. of our lives. Now, 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 clap your hands and pray. Understanding. Haven't you blamed your pastor for too long? Haven't you? Haven't you blamed somebody for too long? Something must be swept out of your life. Amen. The gossip must be swept out of your life. Jesus. The pride must be swept out of your life. Amen. Some of you, if they put a house full of gold mm. and they say, say sorry and take it, you will stop. Mm. Hey. hey. So she sweeps. He sweeps. Put it on the scripture now. And seeks diligently. Yeah. Till she finds it. Till she finds it. Till she finds it. Till she finds it. 2019. 2019. 2019. You will find the key. That will cause you to own estates. I said you will find the key. That will make you an owner. Amen. Of a bank Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus, and I tell you what, 
when you find it, when you find it, when you find it, those who look down on you, they will look for you. I said, those who look down on you, they will look up. I see God raise leaders out of this place. Amen. I see God raise champions. Amen. I see God raise powerful Amen. men. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I thought you would scream like your voice is yeah. just a praise. Yeah. And when she finds him, she calls her neighbor. It's like when I was in school, my school son, I will eat everything he has. Mm. So when I call him, he runs away. One day, me too, I got some stuffs, plenty, so I wanted to reciprocate. When I call him, I called him. Immediately he heard my voice. He says, I don't have money, I don't have food. <laughs> I said, No. Come top what I have. People ran away because you begged and took from them. But after today, Amen. you will go back to them Jesus. and appreciate them. Jesus. Look at that son. After your pastor has fed you and helped you, you have broken through and you don't have the courtesy to bring a seed. Look at that villager. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I sweep that spirit of ingratitude Jesus. out of you now. Shout in the name of Jesus. Look for your friends. Go back to people that fed you when you were nobody. Oh. When you succeed and you take some to your girlfriends, bring some to the church. Yes. You will not succeed and waste it on prostitutes. I said you will not succeed and waste it on fetish priests. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You will call your neighbors, Amen. not charlatans, neighbors, not charlatans, neighbors, Amen. not prostitutes, neighbors. Amen. And I'm talking about neighbors. You see, if I'm a child of God, my neighbor is not the one that lives next to my house. My neighbor is the one that is of the same faith with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of prophets, but a lot of them are not my neighbors. There are a lot of men of God. And God of men. Hey. But not all of them are my neighbors. I don't care the cast you have. My neighbor is somebody who is not perfect, but is determined to make heaven. Amen. I don't care how much you prophesy and how people get healing and how they fall under the power of God. I care about your ability to close your zip, your ability to shut your mouth, your ability to listen to God, your ability to be diligent with the letter that you have. I'm talking about somebody who has the ability to say, create in me a clean heart and renew unto me a right spirit. Today I will find a neighbor in the house. I have a neighbor in the house. If you are that neighbor, scream like your voice is yours and praise. Are you my neighbor? Stand on your feet. Come rejoice with me. For I have found that which was missing. I have found. I have found. I have found. Tonight, you will leave home. And by the close of day, this will be it. I have found. I have found. I have found. I have found. I have found from today. God will cause you to find Amen. ways of winning hundred souls Jesus. in one month, hundred souls Jesus. in a day, hundred souls Jesus. in one minute. Jesus. I'm talking about somebody Jesus. who will find how to help the poor and the needy. Amen. I'm talking about somebody who will find ways and means. To help projects in the house of God. Look at someone say, I'm that person. I'm that person. First prayer. We're going to pray. 
that anything that is missing in our lives that we don't know. Or we have refused to know. Let heaven uncover it to us. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. 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 I declare. I declare. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything. Anything. That has eluded. That has eluded. My eyes. My eyes. And knowledge. And knowledge. That the enemy. That the enemy. Uses. Uses. To have advantage. To have advantage. Over me, over me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I clap my hands and pray, let the Lord uncover, uncover, uncover now, 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 begin to pray right now, begin to pray. my problem let me discover my problem let me discover the defect in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Sammy says, I know that my Redeemer liveth. What you know. When Peter spoke to the Lord, discouraging him from going to the cross, he says, Satan, come out of him. He knew Satan and he knew Peter. An ancient Magian in the days of Jesus Christ said, there are three things I would like to know. The first thing I would like to know is myself. The second thing I would like to know is myself. The third thing I would like to know is myself. You need to know. Lift up your hands with me. You need to know your helpers. Because at times the people to help you, they are the people you persecute most. If you know the enemy, you have an advantage. If you don't know the enemy, for every victory gain, you also suffer a defeat. Hey. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. Anything. Anything. That I must know. I must know. To live. To live. No. No. To succeed. To succeed. No. No. To break through. To break through. No. No. To be empowered. To be empowered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. Come upon me now. Come upon me. Now. 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 Now look at me. We need to sweep it out. Sweet. Poverty can make you go to hell easily. Mm. Poverty. Poverty can make you go to America in your mind. Hey. <laughs> Poverty
poverty can give you pride. Mm. That is needless. Mm. Poverty, poverty can want you to show off when it's not necessary. Oh. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything. Anything. That is associated with poverty. Poverty. That I'm insipid of. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command it. I command it. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. There is a light you need. It's a revelatory light and light. You want to pray that let the Lord release the spirit of prophecy. Let the Lord throw light. Let the Lord give us understanding to the times and the seasons. And let the Lord give you light to solve your problems without necessarily coming to the pastor. Lift up your hands with me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit. Any spirit. From the pit of hell. From the pit of hell. Deployed. Deployed. Right now. Right now. To keep me. To keep me. In the dark. In the dark. To keep me. To keep me. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. In knowledge, in knowledge. In understanding. In understanding. And in revelation. In revelation. As I touch my eye. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Give me light. Give me light. Now. 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 Be good to pray right now. Be good to pray. chapter 25 verse 25 put it on quickly let's read it together as cold waters to a testy soul so is good news from a fire the woman called her neighbors with good news good news we've been hearing bad news for too long anytime you call us it is bad news but tonight, Jesus. we want to declare good news. Good news. That whatever good news is, come. Come. Say come. Come. Say come. Come. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We call for. We call for. Good news. Wow. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Say good news. Good news. From a far country. From a far country. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call you for. We call you for. We call you for. We call you for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Things are beginning to flash through my eyes now. Say good news. Good news. Say good news. Good news. Say good news. Good news. Jesus. La la da da basa. Spirit of a living God. Lift up your hands wherever you are with me. Close your eyes. Spiritually, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the heavens open. And I saw Seven angels descend from heaven. Some had their hands 
filled with fire. At the same time, it looks like a broom in their hands. Some of you, it is that fiber the Lord is sweeping out. Some of you, it is that shame. Some of you, it is demonic oppression. Some of you, it's witchcraft. Some of you, it's sweeping away barrenness. Some of you, it's taking away sicknesses. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, bring me those people now and get me the notion oil. I want to lay hands on these people. One, two, three. Something is coming out of your life. Something good is coming. Bring them to me quickly. Le kala ta ta. Give me a bowl. Give me a bowl. Take it now. The name of Jesus. Bring them to me now quickly. Yeah, but le sa ta la basa. I need ushers here right now. I need ushers here right now. Release your spirit in the name of Jesus. Le kala ta ba. I will declare you are the only God. The only God. Look at somebody now. Look at somebody now. Look at somebody now. Holy Ghost, bring them to me now. Bring them to me now in the name of Jesus. Some of you, God is taking away death. Death. The spirit of death is coming out in the name of Jesus. Bring them to me now. One, two. The angel has started. He started. He started already. I curse these roots. They call my Satan in the name of Jesus. Bring them to me quickly. Bring them to me. Bring them to me. That spirit that has prevented you from succeeding in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it now. Sharply. We rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it. Lift up your hands. Lose her. Lose her. Lose her. In the name of Jesus. Lose her. Lose her now. Lose her. Lose her. Lose her. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Bring her to me quickly. Bring her to me quickly. Bring her to me. I'm about to minister to some people now. Jesus. 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 Man of God. Can I start with you, sir? The Lord showed me a decision that is taken. And the Lord said to me to tell you, He's giving you a city. He says, I should tell you. 
He's giving you a city. And I saw people that are, were amputated. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing widows. I'm seeing young children that have been deprived and, and, and rejected. And I hear the Lord say to me, He's raising millionaires from within your camp. And he's sending people from abroad. something you're planning to do? Is it something you, you have in hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I declare millionaires out of this place. I declare it is sorted out. I declare divine provision. Scream like your voice is yours. And pray. Spirit. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do I have some carryovers from last night? I do. Just let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Whatever you are, just come here. Let me see you quickly, quickly. Let's do this quickly. I, I. What time is it? Is this time, is this time born again? Eight forty-nine. Okay. So I have some few minutes, but we're still working. So carry over, carry over. How many carryovers? Wow. Jesus is Lord. Hey. At the center of it all. Okay. It's you that I Okay, sit for me now. Just sit. One at a time. Okay, come. All of you come. All of you come. Just come. Just come. So look at me. You see? You have been a pillar to your family. And God bless you for being a praying mother. Because your prayer has saved your daughter from a nightmare. Eh? There were nights you prayed and she was supposed to go mad. But God delivered her. Have you been to a place called Adontim before? That's your school, eh? Okay. In Adontim, first year, second month, you were supposed to go mad. Your mother, her prayers. Somebody poisoned you in the school. You were running, running, right? Your mother's prayer. And even the day you were born, is it October? October 5th? Yes, October. Your mother's prayer also brought you out. You should have died the first day you were born. So I just want to send this to the world. That a praying mother, a praying mother is a blessing to Africa. Let God raise present mind. Praying mothers, be a praying mother. In the name of Jesus. So if you people have to give her something, eh? Come out of you. She's tough. So you people, you fight once a while. Often, in fact, because you are also strong. Okay? So the two of them. But they love each other. They set you up. Step out. Don't be part of their arguments. They are like that. They, she gave birth to her. She's not far from her. But tough love, but good woman. Good woman. Because what she went through in marriage, you can't survive it. You, you just can't survive it. And that's why I thank God for your life. But look at these beautiful children. Wow. Give it to me that not oil. Let me try and believe God. Eh? Who is Kelvin? Kelvin. Wow. Who is Jerome? Jerome. That's your name. Who is Alison? Look at someone say it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Close, Close your eyes. Did you dream last night? You didn't dream. Do you know what dream is? Okay. Did you dream? Okay. Come closer. Can you imagine how wicked this devil is? I just don't know the details of what the Lord showed, but I know something bad was supposed to happen to these children. But we thank God for deliverance. We set you loose in the name of Jesus. 
We set you loose in the name of Jesus. We set you loose in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While I was praying for them, the Lord said, as you anoint a child or pray for a certain child, call Prince Michael or Michael. In a man there or something, something like that. What? Nyamade. Who is that? Is your son? Come. Where is he? He's at home, eh? Hi. Wow. What's your name? Uh, Kafui Nyamade. Kafui. Oh, uh, so uh, Kafui called me, right? So that you are the one? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Let me believe God to speak to you. Let me believe God to speak to you. Eh? Let me, let me, come here. How long have you been in this church? Since December 1995. Wow. Then this one, I'm going to believe God to go into the spirit to prophesy to him. Uh, let me, let me believe God. Eh? Let me believe God for you. Strap off your hands towards him. Say, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release, release the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of prophecy. Open the portals of open heaven, open the portals, and speak into his life, and speak into his life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Have you lived in Liberia before? That that's where I was born. That's yeah. where you were born. I am there now. Something happened there that heaven must overturn for you. Okay, something bad happened there. You were born, eh? Is it April? Yes, April. Is it 23rd? 28. Or 28th? 28. 28th. 28th, eh? Okay. Now, spiritually, I don't open my eyes. And I saw that your mother was pregnant with you and was in a hospital in Liberia. And there was another woman also that was giving birth. But that woman was a principality. And I hear the Lord say to me, watch. And I saw that while your mother was sleeping, this woman got up and did a demonic swap. And the Lord said to me, there's something of you and for you that has been hijacked because, because it didn't belong to the woman's daughter or child, that thing is hanging in the spirit. So I saw in the spirit, that you were holding a Bible, Bible was a silver Bible, but I was seeing a golden Bible. And the Lord said to me, the original person that you ought to be was truncated, but heaven is coming through for you. Amen. Heaven is coming through for you. And even though you were in Liberia when they were giving birth to you, some people were watching the birth from Hohoi. Do you know that some pe- part of your family lives in Hawaii? Do you know that? A part of my family lives there. A part of my family goes there. Yeah. I greet them. Where's Olo? Where's Olo? Hey! hey! Listen. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. I'm in your family now, okay? I'm in your family now, and I'm seeing a man called Daniel. Daniel Elo. Nyamade. Yes. Do you know that person? I know him. You know him, eh? Yes. I'm seeing him this afternoon in a fire service uh, 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 office. He works in the fire service. He works in the fire service. Eh? He has stepped on something. He's going to be vomiting blood, blood like that. He has stepped on something. This is Africa. This is not enchantment. This is reality. When we go to America and places where we are ministering to whites, the prophetic is different. Here, the witchcraft is real. You think, you think it's enjoyable for me to be seeing demons and witches? It's not an enjoyable thing, but it is what it is. I don't know the man. He said, he said, it's your first cousin. I'm seeing him. Military man, uh, uh, fast service. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, is he married? Yes. He's married. Eh? Mm. Mm. 
tell him tell him that the Lord said this new lady Listen, tell her to start a fast from tomorrow. You know why? Because I'm seeing Chum of Osu. That's her husband. That's her husband, eh? Yes. I see. Wow. 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 Tell your sister to move into prayer. Because he's going through a lot. Yes. The enemy has hijacked their finances. Yeah. And you see, in as much as your mother is not feeling well, and she's taking care of her, there's a demonic transfer. So she's beginning to feel unwell also. Very true. There's a demonic transfer. And she needs to be protected. She needs to be protected. Jesus. She needs to be protected. And let me send a message to you to tell his husband, to tell his brother, Okay, because I'm seeing the husband, eh? They call him Kobe. He's Kobe, eh? Yes. Okay. Now tell Kobe that he has a brother called Kelvin. Yes. Eh? I know Kelvin. And the Kelvin has a wife called Yvonne. Okay. Does he? Yes. He does it. Yes. Okay. She wears spectacles. Yes. <laughs> There's another daughter called Nanaya. Yes. She also wears spectacles. Okay, now listen. They are not in this church. They are, are they in this church? Are they part of this church? No, the, the, the brothers. The others, no. They are not. No. But God is delivering them. Yeah. Eh? That man, the Lord said to me, I'm seeing him, and he was lecturing. Is he a lecturer? Yes. <laughs> He's a lecturer. Eh? Yes. He lectures in medicine, right? Yes. Okay. Hear me carefully. That Kelvin has 12 hours, 12 hours to leave. But in the name of Jesus, we overturn it. Overturn. Overturn it. Overturn. Now. 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 Can you give me some minutes? Please. Let's do this. You won't blame your pastor? Thank you. Ten. You have struggled. Yeah. You have struggled. And the Lord said to me, you are also tired. But I hear the Lord say to me, he said, you will never regret the position you've taken to serve this man of God. He said, some few friends of yours Say you do foolish errands and you are wasting your time. Yes. But I hear the Lord say to me. He said, Whatsoever was buried in Liberia that left you hanging in the spirit is coming back on you. Jesus. And the Lord said to me, He said, Your son, Michael. He says, you want him to be a prophet. But hear me. He will start by being a businessman. Because there's wealth in his foundation. And some of the things you missed out on, God wants to restore him with that. He will make a lot of... Then afterwards, he will come to do the work of God as a business preacher. He says, don't force the prophetic on him. The prophetic self is too problematic self. If you want it, take it away. <laughs> don't 
don't force it on him. But that guy, that boy, who is Fafa? Fafa is my daughter. The Your daughter, eh? yes. I see. It says those two people, they are going to be one of the most powerful that has lived in your household. Amen. And the Lord said to me, he said, what he would do for your children, originally, originally, they wouldn't have had that, but because of your service. So who is benefiting? <laughs> and who is profiting? And I hear the Lord say to me, he said, he wants to release this thing to you, not because you prayed or fasted, but he says, because your heart is right. Who is Adam? Adam. Adam is my sister, the last born. Where is she? She and Ellie came out together with my mom. With your mom, eh? Hmm. Please get me oil, eh? Adam is not married, eh? She's not married. Please, tell her. The month of August, she should be careful that she doesn't get... I'm happy you didn't hear that one. Lift up your hands. Wow. Jesus. The Lord said to me, I should curse every seed of diabetes and check your sugar also. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I release your spirit, your destiny, and your greatness in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Father, for this greatness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who is Akbene? Akbene, my, my auntie. Your auntie, eh? Is Ivy, my wife, your wife, where is she? She's at home, yes. But why is everybody at home? Who is Selo? My daughter, your daughter, eh? yes. she's with her there. Yes. There's an entity. Listen. Are you from Have? Sorry? Yes, please. You are from Have? Yes, please. Hey, why are they throwing arrows at me? Media me if If you give, I'll give back to you. Press down second together. Say we give it back to them. Say any demonic arrow. We reverse it. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Is it Derek? Yeah, Derek. Who is it? A Jack Ripple or something? A Jack Ripple? I am. You are the one? Yes. Listen carefully. I declare as a prophet which of your people come from Arno um, or Pando? Pando. Okay, my, my daddy's mom comes from Pando. Yes. Greet them for me. the Lord said to me to watch and I saw that you were climbing a ladder like a staircase and when you climb one two three 
then you come back one two three you come back and I saw a hand push you up and I saw that everybody in the family was looking up to you and the Lord said to me even now they are looking at you it's true. as semi broke as you are yes. they are looking up to you it's true. God is about to open an avenue for you in the name of Jesus And you are going to experience a breakthrough. What do you do? I, I, I work with an electronics company. You will be a lay preacher, okay? You will groom yourself into that. But God is putting things into your hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where is Thelma? Thelma. Who is Thelma? She's your sister, eh? Yes, please. Run quickly, run quickly, run quickly. Oh, the way you are walking like that, hey. Tama, come. Come, Tama. Listen. I'm going to pray for you now, eh? I'm coming. I hear the Lord say to me, within 72 hours, there's this check some people have been pursuing for some time. Payment. And I hear the Lord say to me, it's been released. <laughs> some people will come and give testimonies here. It's been released. <laughs> Sealed and delivered. In the name of Jesus. Again, I'm hearing. I'm hearing. I'm seeing the thing. Like a cake designed with a Ghana flag. And I saw written on it, national cake. And I'm seeing some people cutting a portion of it. Any contract, any blessing. That is in this land. Stand on your feet. This year, anything that you are supposed to have in this country that will change your finances in the name of Jesus, we declare release in the name of Jesus. Begin to command it now. Command it. Command it. Command it. I can't hear you. Command it. Command it now. Command it. Let's take your seat now. Thank you, Jesus. For giving her a new song. There's this fire. For the past four days months, the little thing you have said, the little thing you are angry I quench that fire so because of that, you are unhappy and you cry without knowing, as if something bad is about to happen to you, or somebody is doing bad okay, now hear me carefully that feeling is making you suspect him eh? please let me confirm this to you there's nobody anywhere <laughs> Look, she's monitoring your calls, checking your text, checking things. There's nobody somewhere. It's a projection. Sorry? Nothing they happen anyway. <laughs> so she's been restless. She's been restless. Monitoring the moves, calculating the times. And it's because of a dream you had. And it's been frequent. But in the name of Jesus, I command this spirit to be accursed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I speak to you people? Dreams can be projections. So don't work with dreams. 
and work with revelations. And what you can't protect and what God cannot defend should remain defenseless. Okay? Trust God. Trust God. Stop monitoring and surgering your husband everywhere. What time? Look at someone say, stop it. Woman, make more money, rather. Make more money and be relevant. The man can't do without you. Just be relevant. It's not your fault. And you, you yourself, the reason why you cry is because you don't like it. You, it's that's not you. But that projection is a curse. And it's because there are three ladies that are desiring him. They are projecting it. I'll mention the names to you on the phone right now. Okay? And they project the thing. But right now, I have scanned it. I would have spoken it to his ears and mentioned the names. Then you know I've seen something. There's nothing. So have peace. Okay? The Lord bless you. I mean, the Lord, I've seen you were celebrating your 70th birthday. And I'll just see you. It's a God sustaining and keeping you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. From Listen. I need some envelopes. I need some envelopes. I'm coming to this side, eh? There's something here. There's something here. There's something here. I'm coming. Please. Give me a hug, young lady. Don't worry, he will hug you for me. Thank you, Jesus, for this oil. It is blessed. Jesus. a grace that is released to find answers to find things that are missing and tonight tonight we want to we want to deepen the culture of giving I'm not saying you are giving because you are going to receive money. But I'm saying you are giving because you want to say, God, I want to support the kingdom. I want to support the work. Take notice of me and help me find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who say, between now and tomorrow, or between now and Friday, they want to sow a seed of 2,000 Ghana cities. Because they are looking for something that will transform and change their life for good. They are believing God for that opening, for that miracle. If you are that person, walk to me quickly. Walk to me quickly. I'm waiting for you. Walk to me. Quickly. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mark Hadadaba. Edim Bena.
exercise in our faith. To the measure you are given, you give. To the measure you receive, you give. So I'm waiting for somebody now. About 10 people. I'm waiting for you now. The miracle is tied to this. Quickly. 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 I want to pray a prayer for you. I'll trigger a scripture now for you. I'm waiting for you now. Quickly, 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 quickly. I have to finish this quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting for you now. Quickly. waiting for you now. Pick it up for me. God bless you. God bless you. Now, if you can do 500, get up and come. If you can do 500, come. for you now. I need a pastor. Okay. Are you a December born? Is it 12 December or 13? 13. 19. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. You want? Take it. God bless you. Lift it up to the Lord. Those of you who can do 200, get up, come take it quickly. And that one, I want a lot of people coming. So if, if, if you want to do that, wherever you are sitting, lift up your hands so I can minister to, to some few people. But lift up your hands and come for it quickly. Come for it quickly. Come for it quickly. And those watching me on the internet, you can tell now we don't build churches with 200, 300. It is God that builds his church. Okay? So shut up. Please give it, give it quickly, give it, give them. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. They will bring it to you. Now, they'll bring it to you. Let me pick this scripture quickly, okay? Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 quickly the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender tonight lift up your hands now I declare from today you will not be broke. You will not borrow what you can pay. Let God show you a token for good. Let the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, take your seat now. Let me minister now. Let me minister to some people quickly. Come. Look, are you Thelma? Okay. You are an October born, eh? Is it 25th? 25th? Yes. Okay. Now, as you are standing with me now, you are not well. You're yes. sick. How long have you been sick? For about six weeks. For about six weeks, eh? 
Okay. When you are there, it's like your breath is coming out, eh? Yes. It's like you can't breathe. Yes. And at times when you're walking, you hear somebody mention your name. But you don't see the person. Or you don't... Sometimes. Sometimes, eh? Okay. Tell me. Perfect. God is extricating you from a pit so that you can leave. Also, for where I saw her, the Susum Echo, her spirit is leaving her. Look, now, even if you dress, for the past six weeks, if you dress, you don't even feel beautiful. You, you don't know what to, it's like you don't know what to do. God is setting you free. What do you do? I'm a midwife. You're a midwife. Yeah. I'm seeing you in a hospital, and I saw written Lake Bar. That's where I work. That's where you work, eh? That's where the thing happened. Because I'm seeing my spirit must stand in that Lake Bar place. Somebody. You help deliver babies, eh? Yes, I do. You deliver? Me, I'm a midwife. So, so, I do so you bring the babies out. Aha. A baby was not supposed to come out. But because he's a child of God, she brought the baby out. So now they are retaliating. So he said, if you did not give us the life baby we want, then life for life. Have you seen number seven before? Seven. Seven. And three before? Or seven? Seven. Seven. When? No, don't, don't help me. I don't need help. Okay? Here is the house of God. You don't lie in the house of God. If you have not seen it, yes, you have not seen it because you are not telling me anything. I am telling you. So you may not know where I'm coming from. Have you seen any number seven? No, you haven't. Yes. See, that's how it is. So. Truth is God. We just live in truth. You understand what I'm trying to say? You see how church people can be under pressure in life. Then you'll be there feeling like you're go. She has it. I'm seeing the number seven. Then it's between three and seven. And the Lord said to me, these are the days left. But he said, speak to her and tell her, I am the giver of life. And I'm giving her life. And I hear the Lord say to me, take in a deep breath. Please get me water, 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 water. Quickly, quickly. Is one of you also a nurse? Who is a nurse? None of you. Who is Esther? Who is Estelia? I see. Come. The two of you. Come. I'm coming to pray for you. There's something. The two of you. Eh? Are you twins? Yes, please. You are twins? Yes. Hey! Are you October bonds? Yes. Please. You're October? Mm. October 25th? October 23rd? Sorry? Yes, please. I see. Because the angel here is an angel in charge of October. And they are about to deal with something. Let the angel of your month be deployed over your head. And let them release your blessing. Shout the big heaven like a voice of source of blessing. a spirit in your household eh? that spirit is rising up against you people when 
you were young, where's your mother? Where's mother? Mother, wherever you are, please come quickly. Where's mother? She's coming. Come, come quickly. Come. Who is Peter Gay? Who is Peter? Who is Peter? Sorry? Sorry? Your cousin. Your cousin. You know it's your cousin. So how come you know your mother doesn't know? Is he married to somebody called Cecilia? Yes. He's yes. married to somebody called Cecilia. Eh? Yes. Eesh. Mama, when they were young, when they were born, did they do some, did the family ask for them to do some uh, prayers and something? Or, the, by somebody, or if somebody prayed who does not wear slippers? Do not remember. You don't remember? Eh? Now, I'm seeing in the spirit that, oh, thank you, Jesus. I see it. There's a spirit that rules a certain field, and the field is in Ola Secondary. Hey. Sorry? You went, to Ola. you went there? Aha! Because the spirit is without feet, has nothing there. You are not married? Yes, you are not married? Okay. When will you be 39? In nine years. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, the Lord said to me, I should break a cycle that is supposed to continue to the age of 39. And your mother is beginning to get worried because you're saying, why are they not having, you know, marriage and all of that? You've been praying about it. There's a spirit in the family. Okay? It's a God of the family that loves the twins. Okay? And the spirit says he will not allow them to marry. So, if you don't know, these are children. They are good people. When they love, they love with all their heart. But all of them, when their heart is broken, is broken at the same time. When your heart breaks, after a short time, your heart is broken. The two of you, you talk so you know. Is that not? Sorry? Yes, please. It's the same. It's a demonic thing. Today, the Lord is going to harass that spirit. Amen. For you all to go and marry. So, are you a four? And you're a fia? Or a queer? Which is what? A four. A queer. All of those. I'm seeing the Lord say to me he says from today he has become your father Amen. and I hear the Lord say to me he said from today he's bringing the original man into your lives. Amen. And the Lord said to me, your children will build a house for you. Amen. But hold your hands. Taking a deep breath. All of you are wearing spectacles. It's scary. Let me remove this. Hold your hands together. I'm taking a deep breath. Release their marriage. <laughs> Release her marriage. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, pick them up for me now. Where's your father? Hey, forget. As these people come from Pando or Habe, which is which? Pando. They are from Pando, eh? She's from Pando. And you are from where? Abutia. Abutia? Okay. If 
everything started going well for you until you turned 40. Yes, sir. Then you lost everything. Yes, sir. And from that time, you have not recovered. Yes, sir. And it's because your father traveled and went to a place in Benin and took something and the thing is fighting you people. So everybody can do well after 40. They begin to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that what happens? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've gone through things that at times it felt like taking your life. It's true, sir. But God said to me, He doesn't need you in heaven now. <laughs> and you have not saved much souls. Eh? But that thing is about to break. Amen. Amen. Say break. Amen. And your father gave you something to eat when you were at the age of six, seven. And the thing moves in your belly. So once in a while you see some movement, eh? And you think it's a good way. You know what I mean? Henia. It's true, sir. You think so, right? It's true, sir. Yeah, that's what it is. You think it's henia. It's and it's you even tell people that you have henia. Is that it happens, sir? Sorry? It happens, sir. It happens. Yes, sir. Uh, it is not henia. It's a spirit that was placed inside the belly. It destroys. It destroys. But in the name of Jesus, lift up your hands, sir. I command the yoke to break. Break! 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey, your own brother. Your father didn't marry more than two women. Four. Four women. That's what I mean. More than four women. Two women. Okay. So the, your problem is that every woman is competing as to who will become great. So your own father's wives were killing themselves. Or were doing themselves and their children. They are all dead. Except one. They are all dead. Eh? And that's what happened. They killed themselves. But hear me. Come on. God is redeeming your household. Amen. The Lord said to me, your wife doesn't feel appreciated. It's time for you, when she does something, compliment her. You understand what I'm trying to say? Compliment her. Let her feel like her efforts because she has sacrificed almost her life for this family. She sacrificed it all. But you are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name. I think about some few minutes. Let me just do this. Come. Thank you, sir. So is it a woman, sir? Yes, a woman, sir. A woman, sir? Yes, please. Okay. Are you also a man, sir? Is it Solomon? Yes, Solomon, man, sir. Solomon. Whose water is this one? You, yours. Hold. Drink some. Listen. The Lord said to me, He said, You are ahead of your family. Do you have some economic background? Yes, Listed I did economics in, in Legon. In Legon, eh? Yes. I see. The Lord said to me, Eh? He's going to bless you financially. Amen. And he said, you have in your dream to own a university. Yes. It's something you are believing God for. Yes. But you have started with seminars and factions, like things like that. Exactly. And you teach things like um, Forex something. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Forex. Yes, please. And you call the thing something, something. Multiply campaign. Multiply something. Eh? Yeah. What's the meaning? So the meaning of multiply campaign, I got it from the Bible, where God says we should um, take, we should we should take dominion and then multiply and subdue the earth. Okay. Yes. You see, but the best teacher is not a talking teacher; it's a showing teacher. Jesus is not just a talking Jesus; it's a doing Jesus. So God said. He's going to take you to a process where you will multiply first Amen. to multiply others. 
Amen. Who is married to somebody called Akwene? You are married to somebody called Akwene. Uh huh. It's good you are in front because I'm just, I'm just saying it. Yeah. Okay. Lift up your hands now. Are you from the Asante region? Yes, please. Is it Obo something or uh, Akuna or something? Yeah, Akuna. Tano Dumasi. Uh, yeah. oh, from that side? Eh? Yes, please. I see. Unim, Anka Wono, they wanted you to be a suicide. Yes. Yeah. You suicide. You polish you. Yeah. I, I am from. I, I do. We are from one. Yeah. But the Lord said to me, because you received him, he's advancing your life. Amen. And the Lord said to me, I should impart into you a prophetic ministry. You will prosper in the name of Jesus. Sofo, are you married yet? Yes. Sofo, his marriage is very important. You see, the devil knows our future. And he plans the wrong woman. Look, no matter how righteously you try to keep it, they will make it impossible for you to make it possible. Look, no matter how gifted and anointed you are, if you don't marry well, you'll be an errant boy. You'll be gifted and going nowhere. I saw for the prayer, I'm married. A lot of men did not marry well. A lot of women did not marry well. And in the name of a head divorce, they have held many men hostage. And one of the most terrible women you can marry now is Christian women. Stop on! Stop on! They are not good in bed. They are not good in the head. They are not good at the heart. They are hopeless in the head. They don't contribute anything. All they do is to speak in tongues and slap you. Villagers, may the Lord deliver you from such women. In the name of Jesus, I lost a shot in the building. Omosupai Tantai And some of the men also, all they know is to speak in tongues and buy suit. They are not caring, not romantic. They don't know how to say sorry. They enjoy poverty. Chisil. There's a problem in the body of Christ. There's a problem in our marriages. And if you marry a rich, no matter what you do, you will hang yourself. May the Lord deliver you. Yeah. You can say anything you want to say and judge anything you want to judge. But I'm telling you, all the women are not the same. And all the men are not the same. May God give you a good woman. You heard me. And I know you heard me. I'm coming after you, ladies. I said, I'm coming after you, bad ladies. And I'm coming after you, bad men. Bad men. The woman will work and give you all his money. And all you know is to sleep with the house up and sleep with anything he's scared. And then when you, the woman is talking, he said, the Bible says, submit to your husband. Submit to what? Who submits to uselessness and carelessness and destitute of vitality? Anyway, I didn't intend to preach. God 
God said to me, God said to me, I should release a prophetic ministry to you. And he said, what would keep it sharp and strong is holiness. And the next thing also is to wish people well and be selfless. At the right time. Because I'm seeing thousands of people in your belly. God is going to give you a branch. And the things God is going to use you to do, you'll be amazed. But I hear the Lord say, he said, tell him to be careful not to marry twice. He said, pastor, say, mommy, and yeah, no matter how you are promised, break it. Before you propose, show her to either mommy or daddy or pastor Stanley or somebody before you propose. Listen to me, okay? Don't go through some of the things I'm going through. You can't survive it. You can't. Amun pass off for one fee. An eagle is coming upon you. Oh Jesus! Kela daba, eba, eba, eba. It's it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, coming, coming. It's landing now. It's landing. Hold it, hold it. It's coming. The gift, something that moves nations, is not a joke. And the Lord said to me, he's touching his tongue. He has an inferiority complex because he can't communicate properly. But God is going to touch his tongue. God is going to touch his tongue. Oh, a tongue. And this is what you do. Get a dictionary. Okay? Every week, learn 10 words. And apply them. That's how you do it. Okay? Hey. Break! Break! Name of Jesus. Loose now. The name of Jesus. So for me. Let, let's, let's manage the gift. Okay? This gift. We'll manage it. It should not be too caged and not too released at the right time. If not, Bible said, if you can't, if you can't take it, in, when, if Esau can't take it anymore, you break up. You see that we should, we should watch that. Come. Your father is dead. Eh? He's dead. Yes, please. They call him for Joshua. Yes. For Joshua. Eh? Yes, please. Is it Kwesi? Yes, please. For Kwesi Joshua. Yes. Eh? Yes. Gidi. Yes, please. Okay. You know what killed him? Mm, you were told it's a um, liver disease. It's a liver disease, eh? Yeah. You know, you know who did it? We are trying to figure it out. You are trying to figure out. <laughs> Okay. Come come and stand here. Come. Come. Hey, how are you speaking? <laughs> now hear me carefully. Hear me. Your father is dead. But he's a November born. Yes, please. I think November 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 28th. Yes, please. Okay. His own household. They went for a funeral and a family meeting. They brought him a drink and he drank it. And the thing is a poison that entered his liver, deflated the liver, and took it. Yes. So before he died, he told you to be careful yes. of his family. He told you, right? Yes, please. Okay. Now listen carefully. Who is Daniel? Yes, I'm the one. Who is Kojo? I'm the one. You are the one? Yes, please. Okay. The angel of the Lord said to me to tell him. Jesus. Hmm. A man's so enemy is from his household. <laughs> Follow me. The Lord showed me somewhere. Are you from Ave? Yes, please. You are from Ave? Yes, please. Okay. 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 I'm seeing myself in Ave, eh? but there's a small town called. A toy something. A toy. A toy. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh, that place. 
there is a cave underground spiritually. It has passports, it has visas, it has keys, it has indentures, it has so many things in there. And an entity has sat on it. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any entity in my family that has sat on my blessing in the name of Jesus. Say God fire. 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 Say fire. Fire. Say let every spiritual goods. Let every spiritual goods. Somebody say what does it mean? Anything that happens in the physical happen in the spirit. When the witches are sitting on gold, their house will become broke. The more they lose wealth in the spirit, the more you become wealthy physically. Anything they have claimed from you, in the name of Jesus, I declare, let them return it. Please sit. What do you do? I'm a graphic designer. You're a graphic designer? Okay. Have you traveled abroad before? No, please. No. Do you have a passport? Yes, please. You have a passport? No visa? No, please. Okay. Because the visa is inside the gate. <laughs> but hear me. I hear the Lord say to me, He's going to restore what your father was supposed to have gave and a blessing to you. But the Lord said to me, on one condition, that you'll be selfless with your own blood, with your household. Selfless. Eh? When you were growing up, you used to give a lot. Yes, please. But now, you have become protective of money. Yes, please. What happened? Because it got to a point in time, I lost my job and then but the money wasn't coming, so the little one that will come after you. You have to protect it. <laughs> and now that the money is coming, you are still protecting it. <laughs> yes, please. You say yes, please. <laughs> Hear me. There's one that's scattered and yet receives. Okay? Hear me again. Where's Akwene? She's pregnant, so she's with the. She's in the house. Sorry? She's with the auntie. Which she's with the auntie. Okay, hear me. The Lord said to me, you are going to give birth to a child that will turn the family fortunes around. The Lord said to me to watch. And I've seen this child. And the child was on offices in America, UK, and all of that. And I hear the Lord said to me, said, protect that child. He said, that child will not die. That child is great. Amen. Tell your wife, Akwene, that for some time now she's been afraid because she's been feeling some pain in her abdomen. Yes, she called you to tell you, eh? Yes, please. Tell her it is nothing. It is a rerun. Tell her that she's safe. She's fine. Okay. Because there's a hand that is protecting that child. Amen. Listen, you are planning that if it's a boy, you will name him after your father. Don't try it. The doctor says it's a girl. Yes, please. The doctor says it's a girl. Don't try it. Your secret to greatness is the ability to give. Don't give carelessly, but give wisely. But hear me carefully. Your wife has been away for about three months now, eh? Oh, how long has she been away? Three days now. Three days. She just left. Okay. Listen. A call came in two days ago. The call, call is going to follow up tomorrow. Eh? Hot the conversation. Okay? Hot the conversation because they want you to hurt her. While she's pregnant, you even know what happened. 
and you will talk for a long time and you you think you are helping them helping her cut it you understand what i'm saying right yes please am i saying stories no it began like a talk and before you realize i love you before you won't even know when you went that is an agent of darkness and we declare their path dark and slippery anybody that is coming to seduce you and to hold you to ransom let the lord make their path dark and slippery The girl is a witch, she said, she's in the water well. And it's because they want an opening to help the wife, but it, it, it can't happen. That child is a great child. May the Lord give you the ability to resist the devil and walk in righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen. How do you feel? Listen. When you go home, okay, you will feel like a stomach upset. It's like pain, okay? It's like pain in your belly. I don't know whether it has started yet. No, it hasn't. It. You will feel something will come out of you. You know that's something. That's something all of us have it. Right. Eh? We sit down and we have it. Whatsoever you took in Lekma Le- 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 is coming out. Yeah. What was the last time you went to work? Six weeks, you've not gone. Mm. So after you delivered that child, you fell sick. Two weeks. Two weeks later, you fell sick. Hey! And since then, you have not gone to work. No, I'm on maternity leave. I see. Listen, you have been exempted. Amen. You have been exempted. Amen. And I hear the Lord say to me, "You will live long, Amen. and you will prosper." Okay, go and prosper. Listen, Ivy is your wife. Yes, sir. I hear the Lord say to me, She's delivered from home. Amen. Amen. She's delivered. Amen. And guess what? Last week, the unnecessary misunderstanding. Yes. Eh? Yes. Was a projection. Yes. And the Lord said to me, when you are dealing with a pregnant woman, she's like a mad woman. So if you are fighting with a mad woman, you are the madman. <laughs> you understand? So ignore. Ignore, ignore. It's an access. Yeah. Don't ignore. Yeah. Because the case is not sweet at all. You don't even understand. Yes. Uh, because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> what she's carrying, you can't carry it for two weeks. Yes, yeah, true. Okay? And you want, you say you want to correct it before it goes further. Don't correct it now. Postpone it. Okay. Okay, because by the time she gives birth, she'll come back to normal. Okay. Thank you. Okay? Uh, you come back to normal. Open your arms. God is making you great. But God's greatness does not encourage irresponsibility. And it does not enhance laziness. So it's not automatic. But spiritually, God is making you great. But physically, he's going to give you the discipline to make it happen. Take it. Take it. Take it. No! Jesus, you are blessed and highly favored. What's your father? He's dead. Eh? Listen, the void of your father is affecting you. But the danger here is that you'll be looking for a father figure in a man who is a boy or will be a boy. So, for now, accept the fact that is God. Let Jesus be your father. Okay? And take your time because you, you are a great girl. But if you don't take time 
you will fall into the wrong hands like that, all in the name of looking for maturity. Okay? And you, you like sweet words, sweet things. <laughs> she likes compliment. Eh? You have to be tough in the head. A man can say anything to get what he wants. He doesn't mean it. Okay? Because, you see, it's in the propium of a man to look at a woman in a second and decide that he's in love. So can you imagine? You have given your heart to a man who can fall in love in a second. So if you are living with a man for 20-something years and he's still with you, you have to respect him. And you see, a woman, anything up from the neck top, anything here on a woman is powerful enough to bring a strong man down. Anything from the neck down is a shrine. Jembawoni. A bosom. If you don't understand that a woman walking is a living shrine. <laughs> you will destroy your destiny. So tough in your head. I'm seeing you in America. I'm seeing you in the UK. And the Lord said to me, he's going to open doors. I've traveled before. Yes. You have traveled before. It's an opening for you. The Lord said to me, He's going to fill the void your father left. Give me this. His name is Jehovah. Take it. <laughs> Greatness will not be truncated by a wrong decision. No man will hijack you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and close it. Thank you. Thank you. His name is Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want us to pray a final prayer for the city I saw. I want to pray it. He can do anything He will provide
will accomplish it. Amen. He will accomplish it. Amen. He will accomplish it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. he will accomplish it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for divine accomplishment. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for divine help. Amen. I hear the Lord say to me, he said, you have pursued the dream for his crusade for some time. The Lord said to me, you have inherited something on the road. God is giving you two families. And don't worry, pastor will interfere. Because you bring some of the venison to him. Venison. You will begin to see from today. The ministry of hard labor has expired. Amen. And I hear the Lord say to me, He says from today, attempt to pray for the sick and he will honor you. Attempt. And I hear the Lord say, He says, it was not an original gift. And where he's taking you, it was not your original place. But he said, because you have purpose in your heart to push the evangelistic ministry, what is he in charge of? Evangel crusades? I see. The Lord said, now I am giving you what your prayers cannot give you. And I'm giving you what fasting and prayer cannot give you. Because you chose to be a follower. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God bless you all. I'm just going to do some finishing touches, okay? I'm just watching to see whether I'm ignoring something. Okay, so just pardon me. The time is already gone, so that's it. Lift up your hands now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will smile. Amen. You will smile. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, the Lord said to me, one of the smartest things you have done is to gather businessmen. Some of them even don't look like businessmen. But the Lord said to me, you have caught them young. They will grow with you. And they will be grateful because he's giving you a covenant of wealth. But you won't go into much business. So he's brought you the business. And he said some of them will bring you royalties. And some of them will make you board chairman. And the Lord said to me, He said, When a Nigeria says, You don't hammer, it means you have caught some big fishes in simple bodies. Simple. So anybody who participates or feels like you don't want to participate, that is is the happy corner that is the center for miracles so connect to it that is what the Lord said I should tell you that's what the Lord said I should tell you and he says just like you started and watch this church grow he says they will grow with you and you just have to say I want this thing done and they will be competing among themselves who should you see, because you didn't like it and you were jealous, your you couldn't name stay. Is Yahweh. You didn't stop. Yeah. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Oh God, you're the miracle-working God. Your name is Yahweh. I just have one minute, and this one minute, if you're here, you want to give your life to Christ, you're here. You said, something is missing in my life. I miss a coin. I miss a missing piece. And because of that, my relationship with God has been soured. My relationship with God has just been hampered. Wherever you are, lift up your hands with me right now. 
wherever you are if you are that person lift up your hands with me and come come the young man if you lifted up his hand before i started come 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 quickly put your hands together for them wherever you are walk to me quickly walk to me quickly 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 God bless you. Work with me, work with me quickly. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. I'm still waiting for you. I just have about 50 seconds more. Quickly. Wherever you are, you know you have to be here. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping for them. Keep Come clapping. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Keep clapping. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. You know, an angel spoke to me in Chi. Pointing to you. I said, Yamia Bow. Yamia Bow. Only him understands. Miracle working. Please stretch of your hands towards them now. Somebody's still coming. Somebody's still coming. Somebody's still coming. God bless you. God bless you. Say with me, Lord Jesus, tonight I surrender to you. I give you myself. Take over. Change my life. Anything that is missing in my life, please replace it with you. Empty yourself in me, O oh Lord. This day, I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Follow this lovely woman. Follow this lovely woman. Every dwarf spirit stood in your house. Be ye sepia, be ye gropia, be ye bia, ye shewa, se, ye kola brim, ye tu, se sia, in the name of Jesus. Come out! Scream it out now in the name of Jesus. Come out! connect and sow a special seed into the life of the man of God. Come and take an envelope from me and sow a seed of 150, whatever. Just do it and connect it to the grace of God upon his life. Say amen. amen. So you can bring it today, you can bring it tomorrow so that we can say thank you to him. Have you been blessed tonight? Yes. Very prophetic, very insightful and for me, I think I'm the happiest person in this auditorium. Uh, because just this Sunday, you know, we declared that we are bringing a seat. And then uh, today's what? Tuesday is, is confirmed. Connect with me, oh. Be my friend now. Because where I'm going, you know. And my businessman. <laughs> today we had a meeting. And it has been confirmed that it is of God. Oh, are you taking an envelope? Share it. Share it, share it. Everybody should take an envelope. Sow something. All the way from, have you been blessed all the way from Takara? Go and kneel there and receive some blessings, Lee. Receive some blessings, Lee. I think we need it for an all night, oh? Huh? Maybe they will say we are making noise. Everybody, sow a seed. 150, 200, connect. Say amen. If you have it, First of all, take your offering for tonight. That this envelope is a seed we are sowing to the man of God's life. So today's offering, come forward and bring it. And the envelope that I've given to you, between now and Friday, sow a seed. A thousand. Anything you want to give to the man of God. If you give it to us, we'll give it to him. He's a prophet. If you don't give it to him, then you know that we have cheated him. 
See, anything you put in an envelope, do something very unusual. Sow a seed. Johnny, how many envelopes did you collect? I want to show it among the people. All right. Take an envelope in your hand. I will sow with you. Your spirit leads me on by the power of your Thank you to Prophet Enoch Jensen and his wife for coming. We are so blessed. You are definitely coming again to come and continue from where you left off. There are more prophecies you want to give. We, are, we really appreciate your coming, your ministry. And I want to lift my voice and pray for him and his wife that the Lord will preserve them, that he will go deeper and do the work of God. Shall we pray right now for him? Let's lift your voice. Father, we pray for the man of God. We pray for his family. We pray for, for, for his wife and his ministry. He has a very unique ministry. We release an unusual grace upon him, O oh God, that you go deeper and do greater things. And every revelation is had today, Lord. We connect to it in a positive way. Father, we receive it in a negative way. We cut it down in Jesus' most mighty name. Amen. Well, tomorrow, we are continuing with another prophet, Prophet Odro, and then this, this is a week of prophets, and then on Thursday, to be an impartation. He has given us a lot, the, he has given us a lot of prayer topics for, 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 for Thursday, because we have captured some of the things he has said. We are going to use them, especially that uh, that hole that have gold passports and things. People have breakthrough that are hidden in some places. And on Thursday, we are going to bring them out. Say amen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be easy here on Thursday at all, or the final day. And then uh, Friday, we are just worshiping and thanking the Lord. Uh, Prophet Enoch. We are very, very grateful to God for your life. You have a home here. Make this place also your home. And uh, we are definitely going to bring you again to come and have a long... In fact, before you come, I'll tell them that we don't have a time of closure. You see, my people, they are diplomatic people. They are workers, they are executives, small, you know, they are taking their bags and left. But you can see that they have sat down and listened to you. It's a breakthrough. So the next time we are coming, I'll tell you, we have a time of starting, but we don't have a time of closing. So that when we are coming, we have that mind. Father, we bless this office in Jesus' name. Amen. When we close, come and shake him, love him, encourage him, let him know. And if you took an envelope tomorrow, bring that seed, sow a seed into his life. Whatever you gift, we will just sow it at a seed into their lives. And when you connect to such grace, God will multiply that seed sown in Jesus' name. Amen. Your hands are lifted. From victory on to some more envelopes on the platform if you want to sow a seed into his life come to the platform and pick up an envelope and connect to the grace of God upon his life the Lord bless and keep you may his face shine upon you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and make you find what you are missing may the Lord show you where it is hiding and this year may you see what God has for you and may you receive what he has for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shake three people. Tell them you will find it. You will find it. You are found. You are found. You are found. You are found.